his third time lucky for Mossy. A second World War era de Havilland mosquito touched down in Kelowna Thursday after two previously scheduled flights had to be scrubbed due to mechanical issues and weather. The mosquito will be a cornerstone of the new exhibit at the soon to open KF Aerospace Center for Excellence. How are you feeling? I'm elated, very emotional. Um, it's a huge day for Barry La Point, uh, KF Aerospace, and for the center, and for Kelowna and the community. The 80 year old aircraft was brought in for a perfect landing by the chief pilot from the Military Aviation Museum in Virginia Beach, Virginia, where they also have a mosquito. How rare is it for someone to get one of these that actually flies for their museum? Uh, very rare. Um, ours was the first, there wasn't any flying since the early 90s. Um, and then ours at the Military Aviation Museum, we found one and got it totally restored and brought it over, restored over in uh, New Zealand. And we got ours flying in 2011, and I think this one flew next. This was not a total restoration, but just kind of a, a build-up from an original, original airplane. Um, and then there's two more airplanes out there. So there's only four flying mosquitoes in the world, and uh, three of them in the U.S., and one of them's right here. I mean, this aircraft is made of Sitka BC wood. Um, it's the only one that we know of that is an original, original wood still in the aircraft, which is amazing. And we want to preserve that and keep it for the center so people can keep coming back and seeing her. Plus, see her in the air and flying. At Kelowna International Airport, Cindy White, Castanet.